Bill Blatch, Bordeaux Gold. We're today at Chateau Giro, together with somebody you know very well now, Xavier Planty. Hello, Xavier. Bonjour. He has a happy face. He finished the harvest. Uh, <laughs> Finished the harvest two, weeks ago, two days ago, and we've actually we're uh, infiltrating uh, the end of the end of harvest party. You can see the tablecloths are still there, and uh, these are the pickers. They have a big party, a big lunch for all the pickers to celebrate the end of the harvest. So this is uh, I got here a little bit late. I'm afraid I haven't been able to film the lunch, but uh, anyway, you can see lots of happy faces here. The end of the party. This is Michel, the vineyard manager. Michel with a big smile. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure if the smile comes from the Sotani joint for lunch or uh, from the end of the harvest, but I think it's the end of the harvest. Everybody seems remarkably pleased. Not only the end of the harvest, but the lunch also. The lunch was good? Uh, very good. Okay. Was it? You want, you want the menu? It was mostly solid or mostly liquid? You want the menu? No. Yes. Um, uh, the menu is oyster. Oysters. A lot of oysters. Yes. With a G of Chateau Giro. Good. After just a little bit of foie gras. Yeah, a little bit of foie gras. Mm. Three, four, four pieces. Mm -hmm. A special foie gras with a, a special terries from a sheaf of sauternes. Mm -hmm. mm. And a, a big piece of beef. Mm -hmm. Entrecote. Ah. À l'échalote. With sauterne? No. no. Ah. With uh, yeah. uh, red wine. Okay. Oh. Agriculture <laughs> biologique. Ah, okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> The Chateau du Carpia. Right. Uh, right. Delicious so wine. Xavier is. Xavier is. And uh, he's uh, my offer to the, the workers each year. I okay. offer the wine, the red wine. Okay. And uh, a lot of sauté de foie gras. Yes. And after, chou à la crème. Chou à la crème. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. And uh, some sauté de more. Mm -hmm. And now. Uh, <laughs> and we must just film uh, Iber, where did Iber go? Well, you know Iber, but you have uh, all the cheese. Yeah. Allez, grand sourire. 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 Allez. Voilà, les pommes comme girl de Iguero, là. Ah, allez, sourire. Mississippi. <laughs> So this is uh, Sarah, and Sarah is at Chateau Giro uh, to do a uh, traineeship, and she's been making all the the uh, small uh, lots of Giro for the conservatory. Yes, is that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's right. So it's um, claims that we've chosen from the Giro property and also from other uh, properties uh, around Sotern, but also in the Graf. And uh, we we choose uh, certain plants and we keep them in the conservatory. And then after that, um, I'm, I'm following them to, to see when they come into flower and when they uh, come into maturity. And afterwards, I'm, I'm taking a, a small quantity of, of grapes and I'm, I'm vinifying them okay. as they are. And and that's just a, an experimental? It's just an experimental to right. see if there's a difference uh, from a tasting and a smell point of view, organolytic okay. qualities of the, okay. the... So you're basically yeah. recloning the vineyard? Or potentially to, to see if we can do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. and then afterwards we can sell those plants from uh, and behind it all. Uh, and afterwards it's it's to see if it's interesting to be able to to use those plants uh, when we're replanting. Right. But you can have um, several different clones um, for one uh, plot of wine. Right. So at the end of the day, uh, that maybe you could have some plants that come into flower early and some plants that come into flower late. Right. Um, and and if you have a year where it's very cold, then maybe you know you've got at least half of your plot that's going to be uh, useful. Okay. Well, that sounds absolutely fascinating. Just one more thing, where Chateau Giro <laughs> is right at the top of its game on research and development. Yeah. This year, 55 micro vinification. So. Uh, 55. Wow. 55. Wow. <laughs> I've been busy. Can we taste them later? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. This is in the Shea of Giro. We're here with Xavier and Hubert. I've never seen this, the cellar as full as this. 
<laughs> this is quite some harvest. <laughs> it's amazing. Look at those barrels piled up there. How, mu how much is the, um, the total uh, crop? I, 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 don't, I, I don't count. You haven't been able to count. It's too big to be able to count. It's too big for me. <laughs> <laughs> but this, is this a record? Uh, this is a, I think, I think we, 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 we make, we do, uh, we produce uh, uh, 20 hectoliters per hectare. So. Oh, that's very good. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, but in this 20 hectoliters per hectare, we have uh, 15 or 17 grit, 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 grit wine. Right. Okay. And uh, that is to say, we have uh, a very a large crop, a large harvest for, for Giro, but the blend is not decided. Uh, of course not. Uh, and now we wait. But uh, the problem, uh, for the first time in my life, in 28 harvest in Giro, the first time we produce wheat wine at the end. At? At the end. At the end. The, the, okay. the last day, yeah. we produce lot of first crew oh, with big concentration, so. pure aroma, uh, incredible. And the problem now is for this size, uh, the blend. Okay. For this size, the blend. Can we taste a few? Sorry? Can we taste a few? Now? Yes. Oh, if you want, but... Uh, They're all still it's, fermenting? It's, yeah. It's a lot of... Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, it's, it's too early for me. Okay. This is... Uh, I think we've shown you this before in previous years. This is the whole calendar of the harvest here, with all the different lots, all the different pickings. And if you could just briefly explain to us the different pickings, Xavier, that would be great. But, uh, the, uh, the characteristic of the harvest, and, and when we make a, a batch of lots, uh, we have a, a big quantity at each lot. Mm -hmm. For example, we have lots with 25, 22, 23. Uh, 68 hectoliters. Hectoliters, yeah. And that's what? In, is that in uh, what the date? Same parcel, the yes. same parcel, only in the, in the first tree. In the first picking, yes. We, we pick uh, 15 hectoliters in, in the same picking okay. in these parcels. Okay. And uh, it's absolutely incredible. So that was back in September, huh? No, 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 it's October. Oh, it's October? It's October. Okay. okay. The, it's not the same years uh, than last year. Uh, last mm -hmm. year, the, the more important was the second and the third tree. And the third tree. Yes. This year is the fourth and the fifth. Okay. Uh, we right. pick uh, very slowly at the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, the first tree is to, to, to clean the vineyard. And the second tree, uh, after the first rain mm -hmm. in uh, September. 16th, about? The 15th of September, we 15. have 20 minutes. 20 mi 20 millimeters, millimeters mm -hmm. and we have a, a first development of the noble ones. Okay. And uh, a second development after. Mm -hmm. And to have an incredible uh, noble rot, we, we must wait the, the, the 15th of October. Right, because it was too dry after that, is that right? It, it, mm -hmm. is, uh, it's too, too, too cold in the night. Too cold. Too okay. cold in the night. Mm -hmm. Dry is. Yes, but it, it is. Uh, to, to, have, to have noble ones, you must to have night with. Uh, uh, tied. Yeah, warm. Warm yeah. night to have right. the development. Yes. Noble was developed only the night That's when right. you have a good temperature. Just like mushrooms. Yes. It is a mushroom. It is a mushroom, yeah. And, uh, and uh, to, to, have, to have this uh, noble was, you must wait uh, yes. at the end of September and uh, the 15th of October to have a uh, so four, 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 <coughs> night, four night with a uh, uh, 15 or 20, uh, uh, 17 degrees Celsius. So nothing much happened but for the first two weeks of October? No, 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 very slowly. You just had to wait, yeah, to pick a little wait, bit, picking, wait. Picking yeah. slowly, yes. So then as from 15th, 16th of October, and a very big fourth yeah. pick? Yeah. Yeah. Fourth and five. Very big, huh? Fourth and five, <coughs> very big. Okay. 80% yeah. of the mm. harvest of Giro is the fourth and the five tree. 80%? 80 percent. 80 percent. Wow. Gosh, and you finished the day before yesterday? Yes. Which is the 2nd of November? 2nd of November. Mm -hmm. we, we can finish Saturday, but uh, the, 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 the worker was too tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. But anyway, you had time, huh? Time was on your side. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There was no hurry ever? No. No hurry? You were never rushed? No. It was just nice, not nice and easy, but it was a nice regular rhythm.
No, we have two, 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 two week very, very hard. Yeah. Yes. Last, so, not not last week, but the week before, we wait. We we work uh, all the all the all the all days, okay. and Saturday, Saturday is the same day. Yeah. And yeah. Saturday night, we, it's impossible to, mm -hmm. to 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 organize the sale. Right. And that was the best part of the harvest too, as yes, well as yes, being yes, the biggest. Yes. Yes. yes.